Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. And many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white light, and I ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrations, okay? Whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as we speak. All negative and dark plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. There's a meeting going on about a privileged lady, some type of inheritance as well. There's something that's been exposed about someone's finances, what someone did to block someone's finances, trap someone, cause some type of ending to another person, okay? There's something being looked into. Someone thought they got away with something, but they did not, okay? There's a meeting going on about a privileged lady, about actions that were taken to block this person forward's movement to cause an ending. For some of you people were trying to have you on a live, out of here, or just down, out and down and outcasted, basically. Just 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 done. Just done. Like your enemy said, I don't care what happens to them, as long as they don't get this abundance, they don't get whatever this is, we are good. Okay? So there's a meeting going on. Someone may be getting questioned. Absolutely. This has to do with a Ten of Pentacles. This has been recurring quite a lot in my readings. There's something going on about a Ten of Pentacles. People are trying to hide it. They're trying to hide a Ten of Pentacles so that the person that it belongs to does not receive it. Someone stole something that does not belong to them and they're refusing to let go. They're wanting to hold on to it, but they have to let go. And even if they don't let go of it voluntarily, there is divine intervention. It's going to be taken away from them. It's either, it's, this is the situation. Either you let go of what belongs to someone else or you lose what belongs to them and what's yours. Okay? So, someone is going through a horrible ending. A horrible ending. Okay? Someone is about to go from being a privileged lady to being like, you know, just... Maybe financially stable, but not able to splurge on nothing. Basically able to pay the bills, but nothing for recreational activities. And unfortunately, this person, this is someone that likes recreational activities. This is someone that likes the final things in life, right? In life. You know, the Chanel bag, the Gucci, Armani, all kinds of stuff. All good, good, good stuff. So someone is about to go through some type of humbling experience they're going to have to manage what they have okay the very energy a woman or a man one of you in this is what they're about to be in they said oh remember how you were pulling all the tricks out of the bags to make sure that this child of mine stays in like okay yeah 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 it's your turn it's your turn this person you are trying to take down, their pathway is clear. They're moving on the karma waters. They are going to be sealing the karma waters. So whatever it is you are, are planning, you might as well let it go because it's not going in your favor. This is already divinely orchestrated. I'm telling you, it's not going to go in your favor. This is a divine union collaboration offer. Whatever this is, is going to be successful. This has been the recurring theme in the reads. These divine beings are getting what is theirs. So all of the trickery has been for educational purposes. I'm telling you, they're going to have victory over their enemies. Okay? You best believe there's a whole group that has been working behind the scenes. A lot of masculine energies with no balls being bribed behind the scenes to cause someone some type of ending, not assist someone, right? Only for them to find out in the end that they, they're blocking themselves. Exactly. They're trapping themselves. Some of these masculines are stuck in their heads. It's like, should I help them out? Should I not help them out? Should I help them out? It's like the Most High already told you what to do. But you're greedy. You're fearful. You live in fear and anxiety. That's why you question yourself. 
on what you should do and how you should move forward. Yeah, you're you're greedy. You think you have a lot of opportunities available with someone. There's a privileged lady that misled a lot of people. She she's made a lot of false promises to people. And so people are, you know, running behind her like a hot dog. <laughs> what do you want us to do, man? What do you want us to do, master? That master is leading you to the grave. I'm telling you, who I said master, and this comes out. <laughs> people are fo following a demonic energy. This woman is greedy, superficial. She's bond binding these people to her. They don't know, but they're following her, whacking their tails and stuff. He said, Master, what do you want us to do? We've done that already. What else do you want us to do? Oh, we've done that already. Anything else you want us to do, Master? Master said, oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'll get back to you. Just a pretending to be something she's not. This, <clears throat> these people have let this woman get a big head or it could be a masculine in his feminine energy. Honey, Whoever it is, it ain't looking pretty for you. You're about to go through an ending, okay? Whatever you stole is going to be taken from you. You're greedy as heck. Whatever you stole is going to be taken from you. Whoever they was meant for, they're going to be receiving it. Balance is being brought into a situation for someone. You thought you had outsmarted the system, outsmarted everyone, I'm telling you, in the universe... There we go. The universe is stepping in. So, uh, yeah. We are going to need to expose this about this whole situation. Okay? This does not belong to you, ma'am. Karen, Melissa, Kathy, whoever you are. Baron, David, John, John C. This does not belong to you. It belongs to the star C. We have to give it back to them. Okay, so the truth is being illuminated by, about this situation, what someone did, how someone became wealthy, how someone got a position, how someone got some type of property that they stole. That's what's being illuminated, that they stole it. They didn't get it ethically, morally. It was not left to them. They stole it. Someone is a thief. Someone is nothing but a common thief, walking around pretending to be someone of high character, High class, high value, nothing but a common thief in disguise. When you see this person, you're seeing the representative. You're seeing the representative. Something is being looked over. This woman is going to be asked a lot of questions. But hey now, hey now, this is not what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now, you did not have to steal this abundance. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not a singer because <laughs> I'll be terrible. I would make no money as a singer. But anyways, that never stopped us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The truth has been illuminated to a king of pentacles. He either had a dream or some type of revelation. Yeah, and he's disappointed because he partook in something he should not have taken a part of. Someone is very disappointed about the actions he took against a feminine energy or even just collaborating with a group of people because the truth has been revealed. This man thought things would, be, things would stay hidden, but they weren't. He thought he was going to be able to deal with whatever he was partaking in. He didn't understand the caliber of what he was partaking in. He could be going through some type of ending himself financially, but morally, emotionally, this man is burdened. He's realizing that he ended. Oh, this is what he was supposed to have with you. And he, oh, oh, this man was supposed to have true love for someone. Divine union. Oh my gosh. A ten of cups. Victory. Mm, 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 mm. And he may have known this deep down, but he was in denial. The fact that I saw the high priestess, it means that he knew. Oh my gosh. And he's going through it. He's he's not only hurt, but he's pissed off. Because he knows these people lied to him. They told a lot of lies. Like before they approached him, they came up with a whole script. They had everything lined up. Y'all know how I like to say it. All my eyes, all the eyes dotted, T's crossed, ducks lined up. Yeah, 
all ducks were accounted for for this lie. They lied real, real good to him and he bought it. And now he's upset that he believed these people. He worked with them. Dang. Oh. Yeah. Not only him, but there's a king of pentacles in here that knows that things are not going to go in, in their favor in court. He knows that you are going to be winning. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. He knows that things are going to be going in your favor. Okay? Well, by the time this court case is over, this king of pentacles is going to be losing a lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. I think someone thought they had enough saved up. This came up in my last reading. He thought he had enough saved up, but this is him. And I said it. I said, no, sir, you do not. You don't have enough in your bank account for what's coming. This is what's coming. This is what's coming. Who, my Lord. Meanwhile, things are going in your favor, Collective. I'm telling you. This is what's coming for this man. And he didn't know it. They thought they had you all figured out. You've had people studying you. You've been a whole test lab walking around. People poking in everything in your life. Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. They've been, they've been studying you in every way, shape, and form. And these people think they know you or they thought they knew you. Their surprises. Surprise, surprise is coming up for your enemies. Oh my lord. Someone took some type of action that led to their ending. And they have no one to blame. They can't say, Oh, this group made me do it. Nah, you have your mind. You have your own mind to think for yourself. This woman or man, whoever this leader is. She strategically had these people help her steal something only for it to lead to her ending, okay? Only for it to lead to her ending. Whoever this abundance is that she stole it from, they're going to have it back. She's going to have to give it up. She thought she was going to have going to be able to hold on to it. She got to give it up. It's not yours to keep. Surprise, surprise, my darling. You got to give it up, Karen. Karmic Karen, you cannot have the most highest abundance. It's not for you. I'm telling you, you was under an illusion. You was gaslighting yourself and everybody else. But you cannot have the most highest abundance because you have not done the work. I'm telling you, you have not done the work. You're lazy as heck. Foolish. You're foolish. And you cannot have what belongs to a light worker because you haven't done the work. You didn't see things clearly. You were blinded by the abundance, by the money. You saw glitter and you said, oh, I got to have that. She cannot have that. He cannot have that. I deserve. I deserve. No, you don't. You do not deserve nothing. Okay. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that, Karen. You're going through an ending. You've trapped yourself. I'm telling you, you trapped yourself, and whoever you were stealing from is still receiving what's theirs. This is how it was always divinely orchestrated to be. This is how it was always divinely orchestrated to be. Maybe you didn't know you were being looked into. You know, sometimes that's how these people be. They think because everybody smiles with them, they're able to trick everybody or control everybody, and then, that, then that means they're in the clear. So, you know, John has been in uh, uh, been a DEA for 10 years, and we've been friends for 20 years. I know John has my back. Meanwhile, John is said, uh-uh, girl, my badge. I worked hard to get this badge. I don't care about what you have going on. Okay. Oh, I've known Melissa for um ten years, and she works at the police uh, station or whatever. She works in the police department. 
she has me covered. Uh, Melissa's like, girl, I'm not serving time with you. It's hard in prison for cops. No, 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 no. You, 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 you do your time. You do your crime by yourself. You're gonna do your time by yourself. I don't want no parts of it. Okay, absolutely not. Some of these people, they literally took. You know, they literally turned their lives upside down for no reason, for greed. For greed. Because someone sold them some type of dream and they didn't do the due diligence to look into what this person was selling them. They just told them, hey, we're worth a lot of money. This company is worth millions. Okay? If you can help me block this person forward movement, if you can help me steal this abundance, mm-hmm. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to, you know, get something out of it. I promise you, you'll get $2 million. There's a company that's about to find out that someone has been misusing their funds to bribe people behind the scenes. And ma'am, sir, you're going to have to pay every bit of it. Because from what I'm seeing, you're not that wealthy by yourself. So this money you've been using to bribe people has been coming from somewhere. Unless you went ahead and bankrupt yourself to block someone else. And you best believe that's your permanent position is bankruptcy. Yeah, you won't be recovering the money that you misused. All of those funds you were splurging, yeah, you're not going to be recovering those. Sorry to tell you, sorry, not sorry. Sorry, I ain't sorry, sorry, I ain't sorry, sorry. <laughs> Listen, collective, your ancestors are telling you to stay strong in whatever you're going through. Excuse me. Oh, my Lord. You're going, you're dealing with the devil. That's what <laughs> They're telling you to stay strong, stay committed, stay focused. Your work is secure. Wherever they're taking you, you're secure. You've perfected something. You're committed. Okay? You're someone that's solid. Okay? They're telling you to stay focused on what you're doing. Keep your eye on your work, on your craft. It is going to be abundant for you. It is going to be prosperous for you. Okay? Some of you just, you don't know. You you have like some little mu mustard seed in your hand and you don't realize that mustard seed is about to be, it's about to blossom into some type of gigantic tree. And you won't even know what to do with yourself. Say, like, oh! Man, I am so glad that I kept pushing forward. I didn't know I was going to be flourishing like this. Like, you're about to be so abundant. Okay? You've manifested. You've put in the work. Now it's time for you to reap your harvest. And people are trying to cause conflicts, cause illusions, and stuff like that. It's not happening. It's not happening. There's some type of court case going on, about to go on. People will be trying to cause illusions and things like that. You best believe the Most High has it all covered. This is all divinely orchestrated. Someone just does not know when to accept defeat. Like, it's a pride thing for someone in here. It's a pride thing. They hate, they, they absolutely hate the idea of losing to you or having to compromise with you. And that's what they're going to have to do is compromise. Like, someone is going to have no other option. But to compromise all of these illusions, manipulation, manipulative tactics, and things like that, it, yeah, it's it it it, it can it will only take you so far until you end up having to accept things for what they are. Say, okay, I can't go any farther than this. I've done all that I can. But someone in here is extremely stubborn, very superficial, too much ego, too much ego. So they want to keep going. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay? Someone wants to keep going, but they don't even know what's ahead. And this is what's ahead. This is what's ahead of this person, this group. This is what's ahead. So they can cause all the illusions they want in court in this case. In this situation, at the end of the day, collective, you are in control of the situation, right? You are in control. You have the upper hand. The most high is guiding your path. 
whatever advantage you have over your enemies, you are being advised to hold on to it. Hold on to that advantage until the day comes. People have been causing a whole lot of illusions about you. There could have been a couple lying about you. A whole community of people lying, causing illusions. Hey, that Darcy is in the dark work. That Darcy betrayed you. That Darcy said you did this. That Darcy slept with this person. Meanwhile, most of you are probably celibate. You don't even fool around with people. Don't have any friends. Okay? Antisocial like myself here. A current introvert like myself here. Most Darcy's are. We don't have a list of friends to call. Yeah, I know how it goes. If we have one or two confidants, we are happy with that. As far as being part of a whole group of friendship, it, it, it don't sit well with our spirit. This is why you always see us alone. Because we thrive a lot better. Which is so odd. It's odd for these kind of people to understand how someone thrives better by themselves than with other people. They will never understand that. It's not because they're extroverts. It's because they're not healed. These are not people that rely on themselves, don't have minds of their own to make their own decisions. There's always some type of ulterior motive. It's either greed, explicit pleasure, or something else. Some type of addition they have going on. So they don't understand how it is that we thrive better alone than with other people. That's always been my case too. Like I thrive a whole lot better when it's just me. I don't like being around too many people. I don't like hugging too many people. Like the most people, the people I hug the most are my kids. Outside of my kids, I got to think about it because uh, who are you? What's your energy? What burdens are you carrying? Because my empathic nature is a little bit too intense. So who are you again? What do you want? I read you at the door. So um, mm, I don't want to hug from you. We can wave at each other. We can wave at each other. There's a masculine in here. That wants to bring you some type of legal issue, bind you to something. Someone wants you to get arrested. So he can come in and be captain, save a whole day. He said, oh, darling, sweetheart. I am so sorry for what you're going through. I don't know why these people are intent on messing with you. They're talking about you did this and you did that. I know you didn't do it. I'm here to bail you out so we can kind of put this behind us. Don't mind them. Meanwhile... The whole time, he's the corporate. He's the reason why you're in there. So be mindful with any masculine coming towards you. Someone in here is very devious, very greedy, very malicious, scandalous, darling, scandalous. He thinks he has it all figured out. Someone in here wants a feminine energy or whoever this is to... Ask them for something, need them for something. And you're just like, nah, the most high provides all my needs. I rely on God. Someone does not like the fact that you rely on God for everything. You are 10 foot deep into that ground with your stability and your relationship. Your, so, your, your relationship and connection with God is deep. Some of these people claim to be Christians. But you can't even feel God around them. He said, are you sure we're serving the same creator of the universe? Are you sure? Are you sure the creator knows who you are? Are you sure? I'm sure they know, but I don't think you two are that connected because your energy is saying that the creator is far, far away from you. Like they've been trying to reach you for a long time and you just keep moving in farther and farther away. They're like, oh, child, come back. Come back. You're going in the wrong direction again. Come back. Come back. Starcy, this is what's ahead of you. Success, union, business, manifesting new realities with your new friends, partners, baby, baby girl, baby boy. It's going to be beautiful. You might notice some type of 
peek in the spiritual warfare right now, <laughs> do not be alarmed. Please proceed. The universe is aware. Okay? Do not be alarmed. You already know what's going on. There's nothing that you don't know about the situation. You know more than everyone else that's involved. You know. And they know you know. They know you know something that they don't know. And they want to find out what you know. But they won't. That's your advantage over them. Okay? Surprise, surprise. Your pathway is clear. Your enemies thought they were going to block you from moving on. But it's a lie. It's a lie. Surprise, surprise. I don't do well with surprises, but this this surprise right here is a good one. When I hear that a star see out there, like you're going to have victory over your enemies, man, that is beautiful. And they don't even expect it. Man, there's a privileged lady that pay a lawyer. There's a privileged lady that pay a judge. So they can cause some type of illusion about a case. It's not going to go in your favor. This could be somebody's wife. Baby mama, mother, mm, mm, mm. sis can in her best attire. Ugh. I have to put my best perfume on, best heels, yes, lipstick perfect, hair brushed, bribe someone in the law, justice system, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping that things go in their favor. They're, they're hoping that they pulled out enough money to make sure that things go in their favor. And you know, Source is full of surprises. Source has a humor. Source has a strange humor, but it'd be funny as heck when things play out. So, oh, Source, I love you a long time. You're my number one. You're my person I'm pursuing, Source. Okay? Collective, you're being told to go for it. Whatever it is, whatever action you are being told to take, go for it. Okay? You're wise as can be. You already know how things are going to play out. Go for it. Do not be afraid. Don't show up anywhere in fear. If anyone calls you, don't have any fear for them or any type of... <clears throat> Conversation is too long. I don't know why I'm being told, to, being told to tell you all that. But someone may reach out to you trying to have a long conversation. You don't have time. Be like me. I got to go take care of my kids. <laughs> I got to go take care of my kids. That's my big excuse. I got to make sure my kids are okay. <laughs> because I don't want no parts of this conversation. parts of this conversation no disrespect but i gotta go take care of my kids meaning this conversation is taking a turn that i don't want to be a part of okay limit your uh limit your conversation with certain people because they'll be there playing with your time and you don't have time to play people some people don't take things seriously right now there's someone in here a few people that still thinks it's a joke but they're about to find out that they're ruining themselves. Okay? Oh, <laughs> I said ruining themselves. And did you guys just see the death car come out? Yeah. There's some people here that in, in this karmic group, they watch tarot, but they don't take it seriously. But they don't realize all the actions they've been taking is leading to this. It's done. Is it how are you just committed to watching every terror video someone puts out? All these readers put out, but you don't take it seriously? Oh, wait. Let me not say that. This is for entertainment purposes, folks. Okay? Please listen at your own discretion. Viewer discretion is advised. <clears throat> Collective, soul tribe, light workers, star seed. I don't have to say anything else. You already know what it is. You know what it is. 
we got to make that statement for the rest of the population, the general population that has not caught up to the rest of us yet. This is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Baby, people want some of you to just drop. <laughs> People want some of you to just drop off of the face of the earth. They're like, why? Why is this person still moving? Someone does not know what's, what lies ahead of them. Because they've done so much dirt behind the scenes. They say, oh, I'm going to get exposed. Yes, you are. You are going to get exposed. You are going to lose a lot. Oh, someone is losing sleep. They're... Perfect skin is not going to be perfect anymore because they're going to be losing everything. Listen, balance is being brought, brought into this situation. You're either going to compromise with the person you've been trying to take down or, listen, I don't know what to tell you, Karen, Melissa, Kathy, Julie, whoever, Judy, Judy, Booty, whatever. I don't know what to tell you. Surprise, surprise, the comics are fighting, the comics are falling, they can't get up. Listen, what just happened to my cards? And, listen, negative energy be gone, don't be trying to be in here causing us confusion, we know how to shuffle these decks, barely. <laughs> Hard judgment. It was like, hey, mm. it's, I'm telling you, spirit has called judgment. And they've decided your pathway is clear. You are moving forward, collective. This karmic couple, this wife, whoever this queen of pentacles is, my darling. Okay? It's a rule or awakening. Money does not buy everything. Money cannot buy everything. Obviously, money couldn't buy some of you class. You can put on all the finest things in the world, have the most expensive perfume, but if you're classless, you're classless, okay? And people don't need to, people can, just, people can see you. They don't gotta be around you for 10 years to know that you're classless. People can tell by the way you carry yourself, how you talk, they can tell when you have no class. Someone in here thinks that you're below them, but they are classless as can be. Humble thyself before that star seed, and he or she will raise you up. Okay? Because they've been granted that power by the Most High to raise you up. When you're kind to them, you're blessed. When you're malicious to them, well... May the odds be in your favor some way, somehow, but we can guarantee you it probably won't be. Okay? Listen, listen. Someone is trying to <laughs> act like they had nothing to do with this. You see how this card is? <laughs> Boo. I was trying to get it, and it said, oh, someone does not want you receiving something, but you're going to. It said, no, she can't receive this promotion. She can't receive this elevation. We want her to keep waiting. We want him to keep waiting. And the most high say, uh, yeah. And you are about to fall from grace. That little bit of grace you had left. You're about to lose it. If you don't sit your behind down. And again, success. Success. You're about to be in a new collaboration, new union, relationship, connection, whatever this is. And it's going to be successful. Someone, their head as far as their ego is too large. This could be someone like real petite and they just think they're the queen of the world because they have some type of hand in an institution, in something, a business, some type of property, abundance. They may be high ranking in this institution so they think they're the queen of the world. Someone is about to be humble badly. Someone is about to be humble and they won't be able to recover at all. 
okay? Your enemies think they've come up with the best plan to defeat you. Some of you may go through some type of disappointment, but you're being told to stand your ground. And you're manifesting something new, something abundant. Okay? Something new and abundant. It could be a new career, new business, new relationship, partnership, soul tribe. It's going to be beautiful. So let these people, you know, keep doing what they want to do. The Most High already has its plan laid out for you. There's someone in here, a group of people are bothered by your, either you're gifted or you're spiritual. They don't like that, but we don't care. These are people that don't even know themselves. They don't even know themselves. Meanwhile, you're highly educated, aware of yourself, open to new experiences, loyal as can be. And the universe Fs with you. So we don't care what these people think. I don't know why people always think light workers care that they look down on them or something because we already know like if it came to actually, you know, scaling things, <laughs> we're up here and you're struggling down here because you need a lot of help. But we don't look at people like that. We don't look down on people, okay? We have knowledge that other people don't have and will never have. I'm telling you, we have knowledge that other people don't have. More than likely, we'll never have. They wonder how we know the things we know. And sometimes we say stuff and they say, oh my gosh, this sounds so dumb. And then they look into it and say, oh, I didn't know that. Well, duh. We know you didn't know that. We know you didn't know that. It's not surprising. Okay. We knew that. We knew that. please clear up this seven of cups for us because this illusion is going on in this court case we need some clarity on it what do you want us to know oh okay okay mm, baby there is oh boy there's a masculine from someone's past who is just now coming into awareness about illusions that were taking place around them. This is someone that worked really hard with this group to cause you an ending. They said, no, she did this to me. I'm telling you, she cheated on me. She lied on me. She interfered with my forward movement. She betrayed me. Only for them to find out it was a whole lie. You never did anything to this person. Someone lied to them. Someone has sent this some type of disingen disingenuous friendship or love offered to them. It's like they chose the facade over you. And now they're finding out that it was not so. That you actually cared about this person. You actually wanted to see them thrive. They may want to have some type of closure with you now. And you're like, uh, I'm not big on closure, you know. I'm not big on closure. Like, I'm not holding on to anything. I forgave you already before. It's okay. Okay? This is what this person is going through. This is what they're going through. Someone literally ended themselves because they went up against the wrong energy. All right, they thought they were going to be having some type of brand new beginning with uh, someone else or with a group of people. And shocking, the universe said, no, you made a wrong turn. We told you not to make this turn. We told you to let this go. Go back home. Don't go over there. You don't belong there. And they kept going. Even though the Most High was making it difficult for them to go to that location with the karmics. Oh, someone was determined to get there. Meaning they were determined to prove themselves to this group. So, oh, she don't mean nothing to me. 
He don't mean nothing to me. I don't give a crap about, about that person. What? You said what? Oh, we need to arrange for them to be taken care of? Man, I got that down on pack. My old boy, John, yeah, he can take care of that. And someone was set on ending you. This is someone you knew personally. They were set on ending you. Only for them to find out. You didn't do nothing to this person. You didn't betray them. didn't tell a lie on them. Nothing. And now they want to have closure. And you're like, uh, I'm not big on closure. You see, closure is not my language. Because I don't care. I've moved on. You move on too. Okay. There's someone here that wants to come in though and present some type of information to you. Yeah. They want to reveal something to you. Someone knows the truth. They know what people did behind the scenes. They know why you're going through the situation you're going through. Someone knows the truth. They want to reveal it, but they're afraid that you're going to shut them out. Because they had a hand in your ending. In your demise or the plan to, to, to cause your demise. To cause your demise. They had a hand in this. So they're afraid if they come towards you, you're going to shut them out. And, ah, stay over there. That's not even the vibe I get from this person. I don't get that from like star seeds. I'm not saying we don't get agitated, but we're not like just going to be like, go away. Like we're still listening to you. Starts either those types of people, like even when we're tired and we just want to sleep, we'll still sit there and listen to you. We may doze up a little bit, but we'll jump back up and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm just so sleepy. <laughs> but we don't want to be rude and just cut you off. We have something with not wanting to cut people off even when we need to. Like there are diplomatic ways to cut people off when they're talking, but... We'll just let you talk and talk and talk. So someone wants to reach out to you. Yeah. To clear to clear things up. Ask for forgiveness. Seal to karma waters. Heal with you. Dang. They want to heal with you. But they are locked up in their mind. They are locked up in their mind. Someone is going through a lot of mental conflict. There's a couple that has some type of, listen, I was about to say some type of ending. This couple right here, this one right here, this couple right here, mm, 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 mm. it's not looking pretty. This is here for this man because he's trapped in his head. He's realizing that he should have seen things from a higher perspective. Taking a different route. This is a situation where the, the most high or even someone around you tells you, hey, hey, I don't think you should partner up with these people. They don't seem to be really genuine. And he said, man, they're good. If everyone is saying this about this person, it's more than likely true. And someone told him, hey, I'm telling you, don't do it. And he went along and did it. Only to end up in this energy. This person wants to have a new start with you, fresh start with you, heal with you, heal things, seal on the common waters. And you're up somewhere being protected by source, have a higher level soulmate coming in, a better partnership. Because if someone betrays you like that, can you really sleep with two eyes closed, two eyes shut? Like you have to sleep with one eye open. For the rest of your life. If not both eyes. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't sleeping at all. I'm still here. I'm still here. That will be you for the rest of your life. Can you do that? Are you willing to commit to that? Okay. Are you waiting to willing to commit to that? Having to sleep with both eyes or one eye open for the rest of your life. Because you don't know when the next time is your partner is going to betray you. Someone didn't even... For some of you, someone didn't even know you very well. And they betray you. For some of you, this is someone you knew for years. That you would have done anything for to see them happy, thriving in life. And all someone else had to do was show them some money. 
and they went wagging their tail and their tongue. <laughs> Is that more money? Is that, ah, oh, okay, he likes the money. We got this one. Someone traded an Empress in for money. And now they're living in regret. Can't turn back the, the hands of time. They want to call you. They can't call you. They want to reach out to you. They can't reach out to you. Okay? And you're fighting your battle. You look like you're alone, but you're not. I'm telling you, these people want to bring problems to you, but... It's not going to go like they plan, like they, like they think it's going to. It's not. Like, you are secured by the universe. You are secured. Things are about to be exposed that these people don't even expect. Things are about to be exposed that these people don't even expect. I'm telling you. Someone is about to fall so far from grace. It'll seem like she she was dreaming that she used to be that high up in life. Or him. Okay? But they want to bring you problems. And this man is stuck in his head. Should I help out? Should I tell her? Should I show her love? Should I say, um, sir... You are giving shaky shaky. You should be wilding, 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 but you're out here giving shaky shaky. Move in silence. I'm t being told to tell someone that. I don't know who you are, but I'm being told to tell you to move in silence if you're trying to do something. There's someone that's trying to communicate with someone, and people keep blocking that communication or deleting the communication, doing something with the communication. You're going to have to get creative if you are choosing to do the right thing and trust that source has your back. You're going to have to get creative with how to provide that information. Okay? Sometimes you do wrong in life and by doing that one act of kindness to this kind of energy, that's all you need to do to... Uh-oh. What is it to gain back your trust and your light and your link, your connection to source? Okay? Helping someone bring some type of toxic karma cycle to an end. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're living in fear. This whole group is living in fear. They're living in fear. They're trying to desperately hold on to something they cannot hold on to. They've lost a lot of money. Listen, this your enemies are going through it. And the battle, the war is not even over yet. And they're going through it like this. They want you living in anxiety, but they're living in anxiety. They want you in fear, protect, feeling overprotective of yourself, your surroundings. But this is you. You are covered. The Most High is already covered. Covering you. You've been covered. And your enemies don't even know what to do with themselves. They're like, we, they're like, we have all the money in the world. We have everything compared to this person. They have nothing. They're a speck. And the most highest looking at them, like, yeah, they may be a speck to you, but that's my star see. And we're about to show you what that speck can do. Okay? There are people in here that are afraid of someone having some type of new beginning and moving on, but that's exactly what's going to happen. You're being told to stand your ground, speak your truth, take charge, protect yourself. Okay? Protect yourself, defend yourself, be vigilant against these criminals and crooks. They've done this before. Just on a different different uh, level, different magnitude. These are crooks, I'm telling you. These are crooks you're dealing with. They don't care what they have to do to anyone. These are crooks. They'll pay anyone. Your daddy, your mommy. 
your ancestors if they could. <laughs> It'd be that have your ancestors call my ancestors so we can talk. And you're looking like uh my ancestors don't associate with the likes of you. They will never partake in this mess. Okay? My ancestors would never. That's what your ancestors are. That's what you're saying to them. And like, you don't know, you know, you just have your ancestors call my ancestors. And then their ancestors go to ring your ancestors up. And your ancestors are looking at, who are these people? Who are these beings? Why are they coming up here? Chai! See madness. Since when has the help been allowed up here? You know, some of you have bougie ancestors. <laughs> Said the help is coming. Who give our number to the help? Ah! You don't F5. You don't F5. <laughs> Listen, we already worked this out. Give it back. <laughs> We're not here to play around with you. We already told you what it is. We don't play around with people. Some of you ancestors are goons in the spirit realm. They don't have time to play around with people. They'll sit around and let people carry out their plan to a specific point and say, well, okay, we're done. That's enough entertainment for us. Now give it back. Give it absolutely back, I'm telling you. Give it back. Mm, yeah, balance. I knew this car was going to come out. I knew this car was going to come out. I knew it. You are being told to stand your ground till this is sorted out. It's a lot of confusion going on, but it's going to be sorted out. Someone is like, uh, 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 Starcy Karmic. Starcy Karmic. Give the Starcy their inheritance, keep it, have an ending. Give the Starcy their inheritance, keep it, have an ending. Uh, I think we should give the Starcy their inheritance. I think we should let these two people get together. Oh, really? Really? How generous of you. I, I I I thought that it was that was ordained by the Most High. I thought I thought it was ordained by the Most High, but silly me, silly of me to think that I knew what the Most High had ordained already. I uh, didn't I just say ordained? It was ordained by the Most High, darling. It was ordained by the Most High. Someone is seeing you now as the soulmate after they betray you. Now they have to come in and confess <clears throat> true confession. True confession. So, Twin, I have a confession. I. Listen, I don't know what be going on in my head with these uh, uh, scripts, these skits. <laughs> but someone is about to come apologize to you. They're hoping that you'll give them a listening ear because the truth has been revealed to this person that you had nothing to do with whatever people told them you had something to do with. They had some karmic or karmic group in their ear telling them that, hey, she did that, she did this, she's this, she's that. And it was like, oh, why did I trust these people? I don't like these people. Why did I listen to these people? But they say, sir, 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 you have your own mind. You have your own path. You're on a solo journey. You can't tell source. You can't tell counsel that these people made you do something. You were being tested. You were being tested. Listen, you were being tested to take a leap of faith. You were being tested. Listen, you were being tested to take a leap of faith. No matter how small that faith was, you were being tested. And instead of doing that, you went and partnered up with the enemies 
of your divine partner and you are going all out on this person giving out personal information regurgitating everything they were telling you slandering their character trying to get them bonded in something that they could not get out of and spirit was sitting back and watching you say oh what a fool what a fool what have you done what have you done your ancestors are sitting back and just saying what have you done how are you going to come back from this how are you going to come back from this there's someone in here you and this masculine were supposed to partner up this person that betrayed you, you two were supposed to partner up to manifest some type of new reality that was going to help people heal. But now you are being gifted to someone else and someone else is being gifted to you. And this masculine is going to have to sit back and watch this take place. They're going to be one of those people that said, I should have supported you. I should have stood by you. It was a privilege knowing you because after this, they're going to see that you are someone of high character, solid as a rock. You were always solid as a rock to this person. This is someone that knew that they didn't have anything to worry about if they were partnered with you or, or have partnered with you. They had nothing to worry about. Because you're not checking for no one. You're not checking for nothing. that don't have nothing to do with you. So someone here. And then they know you're abundant too. And have the hand of the most high on your life. In your life. Someone is about to feel like a fool. Fool. The biggest fool in the room. This is what they're always going to feel like. Everywhere they go. They're going to feel like a fool. And unfortunately, the group that they partner up with knows this as well. They know they tricked this masculine out of his spot. He's just realizing this. They've known the whole time they were tricking him out of his spot as a divine being. They allow him to martyr himself. They fed him enough lie in a really t a, a, a interesting way, a sneaky way that made it look genuine. Like, no, you don't want to partner with her. She's in the voodoo. You don't want to partner with her. She's a liar. You don't want to partner with her. She said you did this. She told us all your business. And he believed them. He believed them. She, she cheats. She sleeps around. She's a prostitute. She's a night worker. She chats with people online. She meets people. She does online dating and meets with strangers to live with them. Meanwhile, you're someone that's in this energy. You're a traditionalist. You don't have time to fool around. This is what you prefer to have. And they, baby, they play this man like a tuba. They play him like a flute. And the whole time, he thought he was on a team. You know one of those things where you are working with someone to do something? And you think you two are working together? You're on the same page the whole time? Just for you to find out this person had their own ulterior motive. They've been playing, playing you and playing against you. That's one of this situation. There's a masculine that got played. He got played right out of his spot. It said, listen, this keeps coming up. You're obviously divine feminine. You're obviously someone that is a traditionalist. You, you want to get married and have a family. Build an empire, things like that. You're not out here being foolish and loose and things like that. But they play this man like a tuba. And he's more than likely pissed off about this because he's finding out that he got played. He thought he was playing you, but he didn't realize the people he were he was working with 
were playing him. They said, oh, he's gullible. Someone said that. They said he's gullible. Someone calls this masculine gullible. Like he's easy to trick, easy to manipulate. That's what she says. We can get him to do anything. We can get him to do anything. And that's how they were able to mislead him and get him to turn against you. That's exactly how they were able to get this man to turn against you. And he's not happy. I don't know what he expected was going to happen. Yeah, honey. Honey, I'm telling you. Your divine masculine is going through an ending. He now knows that you are the truth. You're solid. You're intellectual. You're trustworthy. But he betrayed you. They're all about to be going through some type of ending. Some type of big review is about to take place. Or it's taking place now. And they're all going through this ending. They didn't expect you to stand your ground. They didn't expect you to have an upper hand in this situation. They thought they had it all figured out. They had a plan. They they decided to execute the plan only to be surprised at the last minute. They said, oh, we all already chose the sides we're on. It's too late to choose a different side. They said, oh, really? You can always step out on faith. You can always take a chance to do the right thing. It is a whole lot going. People are telling a whole lot of lies. Is what I just heard. People are lying. I'm telling you. People are telling a whole lot of lies. A whole lot of lies. I'm not going to end my reading on a seven of swords. I'm going to end it on something different. We already know the karmics are, are experiencing an ending for trying to steal something that belongs to someone. Listen. You see this? Any action these people are taking is leading to an ending for them. At this point, they're basically just assassinating themselves. Basically, they're being told bust a move and we'll bust a move too. You want to hurt someone, we can hurt people too. Someone didn't know they were being looked into. They didn't know they were being looked into. Yeah. Sure. Someone here, they are determined to come in your energy. Can we be friends? Say, what are we, kindergartners? What is this, summer camp? That did not offer my friendship to you before and you you rejected it, remember? Now you want to be friends? Yeah, this is a devilish energy. They're trapped in something they can't get out of. Someone needs your help in this situation. They're realizing that they trapped themselves in a matter that they cannot get out of. And you're the only one that can help them. Because you made it out. Someone needs your help. And even though they need your help, they're still determined to get you trapped in something. This is why you got to be careful with the people you help. This is why you have to be careful with the people you help. This karmic couple in here for some of you is coming in to give you some type of offer. They have to compromise with you because they effed up royally. And source is hunting these people. Your ancestors are hunting them. Your ancestors are hunting them for everything they did to you. These people don't have peace. They've worked and worked and worked. They've overworked themselves to steal something, block something, whatever they've been working to do. And source has just been sitting back and watching them. So we're going to let you keep going. But when we're done with this, I'm telling you. 
They want to seal the karma waters. They want to heal things with you. They want to have victory. So they're coming in to compromise. They say, hey, we want to come to an understanding on this matter. We know that we did a little bit too much. We went a little overboard. There's too much chaos going on in our lives. We've lost too much. So we want to compromise with you. And you're sitting back looking at, mm-hmm, speak. Speak. Listen, someone has a problem with how you carry yourself. Listen, I'm telling you. Someone has a problem with how you carry yourself. They say, that, they say you're too bougie. They think you're bougie. They think you think you're all that. And it's not that you think you're all that, collective. It's the fact that you think highly of yourself. You have self-respect. You have high standards, morals, things that bother these people, things that should not bother them. These people are coming in. They want to extend a friendship to you, gift, gift you something, right? Gift you something. That's what they want to come in and do because they've done things that has led to their own ending. Is that, oh, we didn't expect things to turn this way. We thought because we bribed the whole world to turn a blind eye at us bullying you and abusing you. And, you know, we were in sure of victory. But apparently you have some type of protection nobody understands. I don't even think you understand the protection you have, ma'am or sir. But we couldn't disrupt that protection. And we are being torn up behind the scenes. We're losing our finances, our children, our wives, our mothers, our pets, money, everything, our homes. So we need you to sit with us to come to common, ground, common grounds. What do you want? Okay. Anyways, source, what would you like to advise us today? What is your advice to us? 99, 18, 9 again. I like that. Completion. Let's see if our enemies are going to let this be over or are they going to keep dragging it out unnecessarily? Let, let's see, shall we? Okay, 9989, the number of completion. It said, it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Oh my Lord, if that's not the best way to finish this read, I don't know what is. Okay. We started off with someone pretending to be something they're not. Someone trying to be you, collective. And here it is. The universe is reminding you that only you can fulfill your purpose. And you need to have courage. Okay? Have courage and stay in your ground. Don't let no uh, chicken nuggets make a joke out of you. Stay in your ground, collective. You'll be okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.